Hey, what's up guys? Dave here from Revocation, um, hanging out at Guitar World. And uh, I want to talk a little bit today about some different things you can do with pentatonic scales and blues scales, um, just to kind of come up with some different licks and uh, to add to your repertoire. So here we go. So yeah, this first lick here um, is basically just a pentatonic shape like that, but throwing in some notes from the blues scale just to kind of spice it up a little bit. So here we go. So this is just a, a pentatonic lick in E. Keep in mind, tune down half a step. I'm just gonna call it E. Hammer up from the 10th fret to the 12th fret. And then 10th fret, 12th fret on the A string. So E string, A string. And then going down to fourth. And then up. So on and so forth. But making it a little bit uh, spicier, if you will, throwing in some some blues notes in there, like the flat five. So we can come up with some, you know, just altering that one note in there creates a cool sound and just you know adds to the a lick that you may you know already be familiar with. And then you can end it off however you want. So here's that same lick, but uh, throwing the flat five in there. Yeah, you can keep the flat five like that too if you want. So another thing that you can do with pentatonic scales just to uh, mix it up is instead of thinking about pentatonic scales as your root note, you could think about them you know, moving the roots around to create some different types of sounds. So for instance, if I'm in thinking about E major and I play an E flat minor pentatonic scale, but thinking of my bass note as E, I can get this cool Lydian sound. So slow. And what that's doing is I'm getting a minor pentatonic scale, but it's giving me a major sound. This would be my major seven on E. This would be my major second, my third, my sharp four, giving me that Lydian sound. The sixth, and then back to the seventh again. So you can essentially think about just like playing a Lydian scale, but you're not playing all the notes. Right Which creates a really, really cool sound. And again, it has that pentatonic flavor. And all these different, you know, fun little licks that you can come up with just by playing around. Same thing if I moved it up and did a minor pentatonic off the major third. Again. Now I'm got my major third, my perfect fifth, my major sixth, my uh, major seventh, and my sixth. So it's that minor pentatonic scale. But over E, giving you another major sound. So it's kind of cool because you have a minor scale that we're used to playing, but it's giving you a major sound depending on the bass note that you're putting over it.